We're going to make a uh, fresh spinach and fresh basil with some shallots, fresh shallots and some uh, cheese, your favorite cheese, a sharp cheddar would be good. Uh, pinwheel. Get yourself a box of uh, Peppertron puff pastry sheets. It makes life easier and work with it at room temperature. And I'm sort of copying that recipe right there for the spinach cheese swirls with a little different twist to it. <laughs> twist. Anyway, the pastry sheets are at room temperature. So, we're going to mince up the, uh, leave the basil and the spinach whole, mince up the shallots really fine. And we're going to use some powdered garlic to go with this, and hot sauce, which is optional. First thing to do is put a little flour on the board, so the uh, pastry sheets don't stick. Comes like this in two separate sheets. This is one sheet. So meanwhile, I waited a little bit too long to separate the sheets. Now I'm having a problem. One piece, it unraveled there easily, but not here. So what do you do? You may come across the same problem. So now you have to roll this section out. So my suggestion is to unfold the sheets, put it on the floured board when it's cold. They separate easier. And then you can... Uh, just wait and you won't have this problem. Anyway, so we're back in business again. That's about the right thickness. Now we're going to take the uh, spinach the basil and the spinach. We put these clean basil sheets, sheets, leaves, like so. This is going to be rolled up. It's a pinwheel. We're going to put cheese in here also. Now we'll put some cheese. And we have the uh, shallots, which are not even cooked, but you know what? Shallots raw are eaten quite often and more acceptable than onions. And then we'll put the leaf spinach, little baby spinach. Then we shall put a little more cheese. And some more basil. If you want to put some hot sauce in here, you can. Salt is really not necessary because the uh, pastry has it, uh, cheese has it, put some more cheese. And some more leaves of spinach and basil. Okay, that should be good enough. Now we'll just spin this around and we'll fold this over. It's a pinwheel, so we need to have everything
Now we're going to tighten down on this. And we don't have too much dough. That's as far as we're going to go. Now we take the egg wash. Just use one egg and one tablespoon of water. Just fold it over. That's it. The rest of this we lose, but that's how it is. Now we get the pan ready. Now we have to cut pinwheels on this. There, it's on the seam. Let's see if we did a good job or not. The thickness, the end piece is probably no good, so we'll just cut it right there. That's no good. Now, down like so. That's about half inch, as you can see. So what you do is cut the entire thing like that, put it on the pan, and then we'll egg wash it. Let me take the egg wash. Just put a little egg wash. And then we're going to put this in the oven for the time that it says, which is 15 minutes at 375 at 400. So there they are. Well, if you do a little better than me with your knife, this is the size I like. These right here. This might be too, a little bit too thin. But all in all, we got three, six, nine, twelve. About two dozen pinwheels out of that one, that's a half a box of the puff pastry sheets, which isn't bad. Anyway, now this is done. You can do this early in the day, and then just take them and warm them up later on. Oh. Don't forget to put the garlic powder like I did. And put a little hot sauce in there too. Not bad. I taste the spinach, the basil, and of course the pastry. Have fun.